going in this. Right here, I guess. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> What's up, fellas? Today, we're going to be talking about what is bombing, why I like doing it during bandits, the kits I enjoy running, and how to do it, pretty simply. Uh, bombing in as few words as possible is uh, just focusing lots of damage in a short period of time on one spot. Uh, typically, bomb squads c consist of uh, three types of... four types of weapons. Support, clump, pierce, and DPS. A uh, support example would be like an occult staff with royal robes or a royal jacket to get you in, get you out with the carpet, uh, buff your damage with the W, um, reset your cooldowns with royal jacket, stuff like that. That's support. Uh, pierce is anything that reduces the resistances or max life of the people you're trying to kill. So an example, pierce would be like a spirit hunter, permafrost, um, damnation staff, realm breaker with the E, max life, things like that. Um, your clumps are going to be like one handed mace, witch work, uh, you know, stuff that will group people up, hand of justice. You don't always need a clump, but usually it's a good idea to have a clump. If you're not doing like big ZVZ stuff, we're just there's just people everywhere, so it doesn't matter if you clump. Um, you know, typically you'll want one. And then damage, which also sometimes double as pierce. So spirit hunter is a pierce and damage. Hellfire hands is just pure damage, brimstone staff, things like that. Most a lot of fist weapons. So the reason I bomb during bandits is it's pretty fun and can be quite profitable considering how little time I actually spend doing the activity. Throughout an entire week of doing bandits, I might spend an hour, maybe two. I don't go outpost to outpost usually unless there's like an extremely organized group that I'm confident they will win fights in. And then, you know, I'll throw on a rat kit and do the usual rat activities and try to score myself some free loot. But generally speaking, this 281k points I earned in the last week was mostly from getting kills during bombing. Each successful bombing attempt we have usually nets between 20 and 30k points per bandits. And then there's the bonus, whatever. The, I think the bonus is like, th it's that. The bonus is included in that. So we'll get like 10k for the bomb, and then the bonus at the end would be like 15, 20k, something like that. And then here's some kits that I like running for really cheap bombing. This is kind of how we've optimized it, if you will. They did update Assassin Jacket, which is a little annoying. Before, you could Invis Potion, and then Assassin's Jacket. And there would be no, if you did it correctly, they would have no idea. Now, you always pop out for a brief second before... Um, your assassin's jacket goes off, so there's that. But if usually it's not a big deal. Anyways, kits I like running for bo uh, bandits for bombing. Um, usually I go with groups of two, so myself and maybe my little brother, or myself and my buddy Sig, or stuff like that. It's witch work plus damage. So witch work. This is the witch work kit I like running. Um, I don't really run Spirit Hunter that often, but it'd be like Witch Work, and this would be like the damage kit. Uh, Hellfire Hands is another example, Longbow. Almost all of them include, or actually all these kits include, Soldier Boots, Invis Potion, Assassin's Jacket. The only thing that changes kit to kit is like maybe the face scale hat to stop people from interrupting your channels. Um, you could opt in for like a Bracellan cape if you're if you want to spend a little more money, but um, to prevent yourself from getting purged, which then if you're purged like a heavy mace jumps on you, pushes E, you lose your base scale. But with Bracellan cape, you that won't happen. But it's, the chances are you'll get damaged through it because it's not that big of a shield. But yeah, these are just some example kits. If I am going solo, 
I will use like a Kingmaker kit or something like that, or maybe a Hellfire Hands. But essentially, the whole premise of this kit, uh, kit is to let a bunch of people stack on you. You pop Iron Will, or you Giga, you pop your Giga Boots when you're full HP. People burn a bunch of cooldowns on you, waste purges, whatever. When you hit 70% life, you pop Soldier Armor, Iron Will, Cleansing Potion if you have a BMS, Black Monk Staff, or something on you. If you're silenced, whatever. This also makes you immune to um, debuffs as well. Whatever. But, um, yeah. And you push E and kill a bunch of people, usually, because AoE Escalation does wonders for Kingmaker, Hellfire Hands, all kinds of stuff like that. You could do Brimstone. Um, you could do the Icicle Staff for Frost. But yeah, hopefully this helps. Hopefully this has been useful. Appreciate you guys tuning in, and see you next time. I stream live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash TV. If you want to catch me live doing some of the shenanigans we do, and I'll see you next time. Start walking up. Invis now. I'm gonna go on the south side because that dude saw us. Me too. Alright. Middle of the point. Yeah. Five, four, three, two. Oh. 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 That was the best one yet.